வெல்கம் டு யூகே இன்ஃபோஸ் டுடேஸ் டாபிக் இஸ் இன்புட் டிவைசஸ் ஸோ வாட் இஸ் இன்புட் இன்புட் மீன்ஸ் வாட் எவர் வி ஆர் கிவிங் டு த கம்ப்யூட்டர் தட் இஸ் கால் இன்புட் பட் இன்புட் டிவைசஸ் ஸோ இன்புட் டிவைஸ் மீன்ஸ் வி கேன் கிவ் சம் டேட்டாஸ் ஆர் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் டு த கம்ப்யூட்டர் ஹெல்ப் ஆஃப் இன்புட் டிவைசஸ் ஓகே ஸோ இன்புட் டிவைஸ் வாட் இஸ் இன்புட் டிவைஸ் and input device is a piece of hardware used to provide data to a computer used for interaction and control it allows input of raw data to the computer for processing here is a list of some input devices used in computers and other computing devices the first one is keyboard do you know how many keys are in the keyboard actually totally 104 keys are in the standard keyboard okay so one of the primary input devices used to input data and commands it has function keys control keys arrow keys keypad and the keyboard itself with the letters numbers and commands so so many keys are there so what are the keys function keys control keys arrow keys alphabetical keys uh, and keypad so everything is there keyboards are connected to the computer through usb or bluetooth so now we can buy wireless keyboard also a laptop keyboard is more compact than a desktop keyboard to make the laptop smaller and lighter so it's very easy to handle the laptop keyboard smartphones and tablets use on screen keyboard to input messages and select commands this is called keyboards look at this picture closely so this green color keys are function keys okay it start from f1 to f12 so totally 12 keys are there and 1 to 0 that is number keys and red color will be the alphabetical keys and control keys are violet that purple color is control keys and this orange color navigation block and here that yellow color the keypad next input device is, is mouse it is also is very important so an input device used to control the cursor it can be wired or wireless like keyboard it allows the user to do the following what are the things we can do using the mouse move the cursor okay move the mouse cursor select scroll drag and drop a laptop uses a touchpad as the mouse so in the laptop there is no separate mouse but we can use a separate mouse also um, but it has uh, already inbuilt one mouse that is called touchpad this is called wireless mouse okay next one is microphone input device that allows users to input audio into their computers here are some uses of the com- microphone audio for video online chatting recording musical instruments recording voice for dictation singing and podcast voice recorder and voice recognition digital camera an input device that takes pictures digitally images are stored as data on memory cards we can edit we can modify we can delete it has an lcd screen that allows users to preview and review images it's not good means we can easily delete so digital cameras have become popular over film cameras because of the following features so they used lcd screen allows users to view the photos and videos immediately so look at the digital camera this is lcd screen lcd screen allows users to view the photos and videos immediately storage storage can store thousands of pictures pictures development allows users to choose and pick which pictures to develop we can choose the pictures which we like size takes up less space and can be easily carried 
Next one is scanner. An input device that reads an image and converts it into a digital file. A scanner is connected to a computer through USB. So this is scanner. Next one is touch screen. An input device that allows users to interact with the computer using their fingers. It is used widely in laptop monitors, smartphones and tablets. Most common functions of touch screens are as follows. Tap. Tap means one click. Okay. Double tap. Double click. Double touch. Okay. Touch and hold. You can touch and hold. So long press. That is touch and hold. Drag. Drag means to pull from one place to another another place. That is drag. Swipe. So that roll. Swipe means it's a roll. Pinch. Pinch means zoom. We can zoom the screen. Okay. So here touch, tap means one touch. Double tap means double touch. Touch and hold means so press. We have to press. Long press. Okay. Drag. Drag means pull. Next is swipe. Just we can roll. Swipe means roll. Next pinch. Pinch means zoom. Okay. Okay. Next. Next one is barcode reader. So we can call it P O S. P O S means point of sale. Okay. It is also known as barcode scanner or barcode reader or P O S. That is point of sale. P O S stands for point of sale scanner. Okay. We can use uh, maximum. They will use for sales. That's why. It is an input device capable of reading barcodes. In supermarket, maximum you can see in supermarkets. Look at this picture. This is called barcode reader. What is the use of barcode reader? It reads that barcodes. This is barcode. Okay. We can read this uh, barcode reader can help to read this codes. Next webcam. It is an input device connected to the computer and the internet that captures still pictures or motion videos. Okay. So, webcam um, maximum we can use for video calls nowadays. We are using webcam for video calls. Okay. Biometric devices. It is an input device used to input biometric data into a computer. Here are the types of biometric devices. It is the best example. In, in smartphone, we are having the fingerprint. So, that is the best example for biometric devices. And there are some types of biometric devices. First one is face scanner, hand scanner, finger scanner, voice scanner. So, when we look at device it will automatically open it is unlock that is face scanner using um, it will read our face hand scanner means we have to keep all our fingers like a other card so when we go for other card when taking the first time we have to keep our both hands no that is hand scanner finger scanner so that is our fingerprint uh, next voice scanners we can use our voice also that is voice scanner so, what are the input devices are there? The first one is keyboard, mouse, microphone, digital camera, scanner, touch screen, barcode reader, webcam, biometric devices. This is the assignment for you. You can try it out. Thank you.